everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashton. Today I'm going to be doing my Ulta uh, Black Friday sale and it's going to be a long video so grab a snack, get something to drink or whatever because this is all that I got. Oh my gosh, it's so much. Obviously this was a collective haul. I didn't get this all at once. Um, but yes, I did get a ton of stuff so we're just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> first thing I'm going to show is this. I already took them all out. It's the NYX Diamond and Ice Liner Vault. I have them all in here. Um, it just came with a whole bunch of them and I didn't want to put them back in here for the video so it comes with all of these. Then the next thing I got was the Kylie Jenner setting powder. This one is in translucent. Uh, the packaging looks like this, you know, just a basic translucent powder. So I got this as well. And then I did get quite a few foundations because I've been looking for more. A lot of the ones that I have are my tan colors, my winter colors. So I got the Estee Lauder Double Wear and this one is in 1C1 and just looks like this. And then another foundation I got is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. And this one I got in Alabaster, Alabaster. I don't know how to pronounce it, but just looks like this, another foundation. I've heard many great things about this. It's the Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. I've heard this is super full coverage, so I'm really excited to try this one. And then another foundation I got was the Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation. Um, it looks like this. I haven't tried this one. I actually honestly haven't heard that many good things about it. I got this one in light 10, so we'll s it looks so super watery right here so I don't think it's going to be super full coverage like you can hear the little ball in there to help shake it up because it's so watery okay and then this one is my all-time favorite foundation I only have I had this color for my tan shade but I didn't have it in my light shade so I had to get another one so now I have two of these it is the Lancome Tint Edol Ultra Wear foundation um, it looks like this in the packaging I got this one in 110 because, you know, I'm white, I had to get the lightest shade. <laughs> so this one is a repurchase. And the last foundation that I got is the Tarte uh, Face Tape Foundation. Uh, the packaging looks like this. This is the Double Duty Beauty one. I've heard that this is super full coverage. This was half off. Um, a lot of these foundations were. Has a pump, love pumps. Um, I actually did use the Double Wear one today bef uh, for this look. I don't like that that one doesn't have a pump, but it's a great foundation, so I'm going to work with it. And then next, I'm going to talk about everything that I got from Kylie Cosmetics. So the first one that I got is uh, the Pressed Illuminating Powder. Uh, this is in Ice Me Out, and this one looks like this. Really, really bright. Uh, this one's just a highlighter. Super excited to use this. And the next highlighter that I got from her is the Princess Please, and this one looks like this. This one is like a baby pink highlighter. Super excited for this. And I did get two blushes from her as well. I got Pink Power and this one. Oh, if I can open it. And this one looks like this, just like a baby pink blush. And then I also got We Are Going Shopping. It's this color. And this one looks like this. And then the last powder that I got from her, this was the bronzing powder, and this one I got in the shade Toasty. This one actually looks pretty dark for me. Um, I'll probably just have to use it as a really light hand, but we'll see how it goes. And then I did get three lipsticks from Kylie because these were only $10. The first one I got is Creme Brulee, and this one looks like this. Really pretty nude pink color. The next one I got is in the shade Butterscotch, and this one is like a darker nude color. It looks like this. And then the last shade that I got is Boss, and this one is a matte color. What kind of sucks about this one is that the bottom part keeps coming off, but I just stick it back in, but it just keeps coming back off. This one is a matte red color. Super excited to use this one. And then the last thing that I got from her is her concealer as well. These were only $10 too. So made sure to pick this one up. I you, I already used this once. <laughs> um, and I really, really, really liked it. Because usually my mascara usually transfers under my eyes. And with this one it didn't. So I'm really excited to keep using this. 
And then Too Faced was having a deal where if you got their uh, Hangover 3-in-1 Mist as well as their Hangover RX Primer, um, you got them for half off. So I got those. I love this primer, so I knew I had to get it. So I've never tried this, and I know how much I like this, so I really wanted to give this a try. I haven't used it yet, but we'll see how it goes. And then I also got the uh, makeup eraser. These were about half off too. I don't think they were exactly half off, um, but I got this one in original pink. I actually already used it. It's in my bathroom. It's dirty, um, but I think it worked pretty well. I only used water with it too, and I liked it. And then I also got the limited edition uh, Lord RCA powder in translucent. It comes with a little puff as well as this. Um, I really like this packaging better than their normal one. So um, <laughs> every time I buy this now, I'm just going to put the new powder into this packaging instead of their old packaging because I think this one's just so much more prettier so and aesthetic. And I really like the rose gold. So I love that powder. That was a repurchase as well. And then one of the brushes that I got is from uh, It Cosmetics. This one is their Airbrush Essential Bronzer. It's the number 114. They had this on sale for um, $10. So what I'm going to use this for is my cream bronzer, like my Chanel cream bronzer that I have. I think this would be perfect in buffing that in. So excited to use this as well. And then I also got a new perfume as well. So for this perfume they were having, they fought the five times points on the perfume. It's the Lancome La Vise de Belle one. Um, packaging looks like this. And so I got, this one was $75, and I got the one where, so it comes with an ounce of the perfume in the regular bottle, and then also a little travel size one um, in the same perfume, and it smells so good. I've been using it. Okay, I'm going to be honest. First, when I first sprayed it, it smelled a little bit like old lady, but then, just like the first spray, but then after that went away, like, Within a few seconds, it smells so good. So definitely recommend this one. You just have to get over the first couple seconds or it smells like old lady. <laughs> and then everything else that I got is all from MAC. So when I first got into makeup, MAC was like this huge deal. You know, everyone had to have MAC and I could never afford it. And so now that I'm able to afford a bunch of makeup, I went a little ham on MAC Cosmetics. So first I'm going to start off with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This one is in Give Me Sun. It is the uh, bronzing powder that is super popular. Again, I don't think it's very popular anymore. Nobody's talking about it because I used to talk about it all the time. But I've always wanted MAC Cosmetics, so had to get the good ones. And then the next one that I got is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This one is in Soft and Gentle. This one is their highlighting powder. It looks like this. I actually used it today. It is so pretty. I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm so excited to have this. So pretty. Oh, okay. I actually forgot about one of the concealers that I got. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Um, looks like this. I told this is at the bottom of the bag, but uh, yes, got this as well. And then now we're gonna go into the Mac blushes that I got. I got the Mac Mineralized blush, and this one is in Happy Go Rosy. This one looks. If I can open it. <laughs> Uh, this one looks like this. I've been loving the darker blushes. Um, I'm not a, like a huge fan of the super pinky, bright Barbie blushes, so got this one. The other shade I got, this one is the powder blush, and I got this one in Desert Rose. And this one looks like this. And then the last blush that I got is in Peachy Keen. And this one looks like this. Okay, these look similar in the pan, but they're not at all when you actually put them on. Because uh, I did swatch them, and they are all different. <laughs> then I also got this set for MAC. You get the regular full-size Fix Plus and a little travel size. And there, these ones right here. So this is the full size, and then this is the small size. So this retails for $29, and this retails for $16. Well, if you got them in this set, then it was just uh, $29, so you pretty much got this one for free. So this one was a great deal, especially for how much I love these. This was also a repurchase. And then I also got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I got this one in NC15. I do have another one of these. Although I got it in um, NC20, and that's too dark for me, so I needed to get a lighter one. And I got quite a few MAC lipsticks. I got seven of them, so 
First one I got is in the shade, uh, in the shade Bossom Friend. It is this color right here. And then I also got Cream Cup. This one is a pinky nude color. Got that one. Then I also got Blankety. This one is a darker nude color. Um, this one is a super popular shade. And then I also got four of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. The first one is in my Tweety. I, my, no, I'm not wearing this one today. So this one looks like that. It's like a, it's like a brownie nude color. And then this one is in Reverence. This one is a nudie pink color. And then I also got Influent, what is it? Influentially It. Um, this one I'm wearing today on my lips. So this one looks like this. I'm also wearing a gloss as well from Natasha Dona. And then the last um, powder kiss lipstick that I got is in Mandarin O. And this one looks like this. It's like a ready orange, super pretty. And then all the other stuff that I got were all free gifts from MAC, or free gifts if you spent so much money at MAC. So first, this is a little makeup bag, and inside of it came with a travel size of the MAC Fix Plus, as well as a mini lipstick in the shade Mocha, and this is this color, really dark brown. And then I also got uh, free MAC lashes. I'm actually not quite sure if I like these or not. These ones are in, I'm pretty sure it's like 70 or something like that. But they're on sale right now because they're not that popular. And why I got them for free, um, but got this one as well. And then the last free thing that I got is, again, MAC Fix Plus. Although this is the bronzing one. I did spray this on my arm um, because I didn't want it to be too dark on my skin and so I sprayed it on here and you can't hardly even see the um, the shimmer at all so this will be fine for any uh, lighter skin tones to use as well and then while we're on the topic of MAC I just had an order for my cosmetics come in today so I just want to put this in there as well this isn't part of the Ulta haul but I did order these from MAC I first got a MAC travel size pigment this one is in the shade Melon it uh, looks like this, really, really pretty. Okay. I wanted to get the travel size because you will never, ever, ever use this whole thing because there's so much pigment in here. And um, you still get a ton, and this is only $12, while the full size is like 20 something. So definitely just get the small size of the pigments if that's what you're gonna get. And so, yes, I got Melon, and then I also got the shade of Vanilla, which is a super popular one. And I actually have this on my inner corners today, so excited to have this one as well. And then I did get some bl uh, blushes from MAC as well. This one is their Pro palette that they have. This one is the double-sided one, so you can put some here and here. So I did get six shades, although only four came in the mail today. So I place them exactly how they're going to be. So the darkest one is here. And then I also have a mid-tone between these two that I'll go right there. Um, in the packaging, it doesn't say their shade names. So I'm going to look at my email and tell you which shades are which. So this one right here is... This one? Yeah, this one right here is called Frankly Scarlet. And then this one right here is Swiss Chocolate. And then this one is Burnt Pepper. And then this last one here is in the shade Mocha. And then the other two that I got, um, so the other two that I got, this one is going to be, what shade is it? This one is going to be Sketch, and then this one is going to be Copper Tone. I just have to wait for those two to come in the mail. And then this is my blush palette. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put on this side yet. I don't know if I'm gonna get some MAC shadows to put here, or if I'm just gonna keep this as a blush palette and get some more blushes. Also, all of these that I got were all on sale for $10 because usually they're, what, $17 when you just get the pan. And so I I like to go to the sales section of all websites and um, look through all of their sale first to see if I want any of those before I go to the full price because I hardly ever buy makeup at full price anymore because it's so expensive. So I do get all of my stuff either um on sale or if there's like gift with purchases like this what is this one was 30 because of like the powder in it completely free so make sure you look at the sales all the gift with purchases 
because you can get some really good stuff doing it that way. I highly recommend making sure to go through the sale. You save a lot of money, get more makeup that way. So yes, love that I do that. And then that is actually the end of my Ulta and MAC haul. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a review on any of these products. Um, or if you have any of them, let me know if you like them as well because I'm super excited to use all my new makeup. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, go ahead and like this one as well as subscribe to my channel so that I know you like my videos. Thank you so much for supporting me and I will see y'all soon. Bye!